We'll happily give you free information like this each and every day. You got your pitcher's report card for this Sunday. If you want more information like this on a daily basis, just please, whatever social media you're watching this on, you know, give us a heart, like, share, retweet, etc. Now let's take a look at your Sunday action, the Phillies and the Brewers. For the Phillies, Zach Eflin has given up one run, and that includes unearned runs or less in four of his last five starts. That's right, four of his last five starts, no more than one total run. 264 on-base percentage against in day games. The Brewers, Brandon Woodruff, five earned runs over his last five starts, 30 innings pitch, 22 hits, and eight bases on balls during that span. Obviously, a whip of exactly one, but he's kind of been an anomaly. He's actually worse at home than he is on the road. Woodruff with a 2.52 road ERA, but now he's pitching at home where it's 4.31, and his on-base percentage splits, respectively, 263, but 341 at today's site. Brewers are 151 and 111 at home since May 1st of 2016, plus 32.78 units and a 10% ROI. More from OffshoreInsiders.com and Joe Duffy's picks. For the Braves and the Cardinals, Julio Tehran, two earned runs in his last four starts, 20 and a third innings pitch, just 10 hits and 11 bases on balls. ERA, though, much worse on the road at 446 compared to 235 at home. Remember, historically, Tehran has been a guy that's actually been much better at home um, than, um, I should say, much better on the road than at home, but this year he switched it. He's also a better pitcher at night. This is a Sunday night game. 3.35 night ERA compared to a 4.60 during the day. That should, should say during the day. Jack Flaherty, 11 earned runs, slash 21 and a third innings pitch. 2.43 at home ERA and 2.43 on base percentage against compared to 6.20 on the road and 3.64. So a big splits pitcher as well. Braves are 11 and 3 lately for 50. 1.1% ROI. You get a $1,000 sign-up bonus if you use the promo code Duffy, and it'll sh it's one way of you saying, look, I want to keep having free information like this on a daily basis. Use that promo code Duffy. MyBookie.ag, among the vetted sports books at OffshoreInsiders.com. Use the promo code Duffy for the maximum bonus. Now the Dodgers and the Pirates. Some news and notes for the Dodgers, Maeda. Zero earned runs his last two starts at 12 and two-thirds innings pitched. None allowed in three of his last four starts, in fact. But he hasn't pitched well on the road. 5.68 on the road, 3.63 on base percentage against compared to 1.38 and 208 at home. He's also worse in day games than he is in night games as far as the splits are concerned. The Pirates, Chris Archer, 10.66 ERA the last three with unearned runs in each of his last two. Stunning 1.97 whip in his last three though he's been better both at home and in day games. Dodgers are 117-71 and 71 since May 17th of last year, plus 15.94 units and 5.3 ROI. Pirates have gone over 15-5 and five lately. Now let's take a look at the Red Sox against the Astros. Eduardo Rodriguez, 11 earned runs, his last 11 innings pitch, 15 hits during that span. He, though, has been much worse on the road with a 7.77 ERA and a point and a 407 on base percentage against. Home team, in fact, 6 and 1 in his starts. Verlander, 8 and 1, 2.24 ERA, and a 208 on base percentage against. At home, though, uh, he's been even better, 1.55 hitting. Teams are uh, on base percentage of only 181 against him when he pitches at home, and a minuscule .62 whip. Boston over 45 and 27 since September the 19th of last year. Houston 32 and 12 at home since September the 1st of last year, plus 10.7 units. But 27 and 17 on the run line for 25.8% ROI. There's where you want to follow us on social media, including at Offshore Insider. Note there's no S at the end on Twitter because of the character limitations, but the website that you do want to follow is Offshore Insiders.